So, um, being the sort of crazy person I am, I thought I could start a startup in a week. Maybe. <coughs> so, you need to start a startup with an idea. And, um, you know, we could propagate foods faster than you could believe. And all of the other sample name variables are there as well. <laughs> yes, but, we can. <laughs> but actually, um, I did have an idea as well. So, it started with npmjs.org, which is the package manager that Node.js uses. Um, npmjs.org is their equivalent of CPAN. And they had six days of outage in the last month, which is quite impressive. Annoyingly, um, we actually used some JavaScript modules with Grunt in order to pre-process the templates and things. So that was annoying. Which led to, yeah, well, obviously they're Muppets, we could do a better job, sure. <laughs> that would be really quick. What do we need to do? So we ended up with the idea of a product we could release in one week. We just mirror NPM, build a control panel, something, <laughs> and drop <laughs> <laughs> So, um, I feel a bit strange about this because I didn't build it in Perl. In fact, there is no Perl in the whole thing, except doing it together, obviously. <laughs> Nothing would work without Perl. It's actually written mostly in Django. Right? Postgres, obviously, because I like a database, not my SQL pretending to be a database. And Apache, obviously, fantastic thing. And, and we probably might even use some other things as well. I mean, the software, if it's there. So for development, I actually set up Vagrant stuff. So if anyone was watching Paul's talk up there, this was the thing I recommended to him to get the thing set up. So we build little virtual machines, and we puppetize them. And then we've got my super secret deployment code, which is coming to a GitHub near you. And do everything off GitHub, because GitHub is awesome. I really like GitHub. I pay them a small amount of money. And we do pull requests for code merges and, and issue tracking. And we run it through Jenkins, which has got GitHub integration. Finally, it's awesome. And, and we use a Google spreadsheet to, to list tasks. If you weren't in my talk earlier, Moscow is just a way of categorizing things that you really have to do and things that might want to do and, and that you won't actually do yet, which might be later. So I've actually recently stopped working with some brilliant, brilliant developers and I thought I'd steal them away. I got all of them. <laughs> awesome. So there are five of us. We have one week to build a product. That's going to be easy, right? No. <laughs> Not even nearly. So some things actually went really well. Base application, it's a generation script. That was never going to go wrong, was it? Hooking it up to a database, well, we've done that a million times, we couldn't get much wrong. Authentication, right? with GitHub authentication, that took half an hour, that was easy. Great, all going well, until we used a plugin that stopped the debugging screen, which makes all development in the future impossible. Stripe is great <coughs> if it works, which it didn't. Ah, and NPMJS is fucking idiotic. That would be a big thing. So, NPM is obviously web scale. Oh, go on, because you've been web dying to. <laughs> NPM as a utility, which is quite like CPAN, really, for proper people, is pretty cool. And you can even like give it GitHub your own, so you can just down it and compile it. And works great. npmjs.org is really not awesome at all. It's actually just CouchDB. 
and I'm going to let that one sink in. That command line utility you're using to install the packages is directly querying the database. No application in the way, proxy it, no nothing. Okay, and distributions are actually embedded in the records, which is like toggles in database. Right? Seriously? Kidding me? <laughs> so, it's web scale, which means we've had six days of outage in a month. <laughs> but they're throwing hardware at it. They want to raise $200,000 to scale it, which isn't going to work. So, now I just have to go away and rewrite half of CouchDB badly in Postgres. Coming soon. Oh, and more of this of his web scale. <laughs>